Flax seeds uh, have a very a fairly potent uh, phytoestrogen in their uh, in their tissue. Okay, so this is the flax seeds that I just bought yesterday. Um, so to get to get that phytoestrogen and also the uh, vitamins, flax seeds, you don't need to cook it. Okay, so I have a pair of scissors. All you need to do is to soak it in, either in water or milk or soy milk okay in my case it's soy milk because i can't uh, i can't drink water uh, i can't drink uh, milk okay so you just i just poured it on on the bowl inside the bowl okay. okay so so the, the flax seeds <laughs> Okay, and unsweetened soy milk, just uh, never drink or eat anything that has uh, sugar added because the sucrose is quite dangerous for us, despite the fact it comes from plants. I don't know how, what they did, but there's too, they refine it and there's too much glucose in it. Sucrose is a uh, disaccharid. It's a disaccharide is a two sugars uh, stick together, fructose and glucose. Uh, the glucose can be quite dangerous when we ingest it inside. So I just poured uh, soy milk, unsweetened soy milk, and also with uh, vitamin B12. Uh, enriched with vitamin B12. Okay. So. And also, uh, polyphenols, okay, this is a fennel, and there's a lot of fennels in chocolate, in dark chocolate, so, okay, unsweetened dark chocolate, it's very bitter, but you get used to it, and as a matter of fact, after a while, uh, it, it becomes sugary, even though there's no sugar added, so when you eat, chocolate that has sugar added, you really taste the sugar, okay? So, this is, okay, this is it. Now, you could use it as lipstick too. Okay, let it melt, because it's almost water. You could use it as a, as a, um, ah, more, <laughs> but it works for the uh, lips, okay, there you go, okay, so, okay, what's the rationale, okay, um, flax seeds and chocolate has uh, stunted my, uh, my male puberty, puberty. okay, um, since, because my mother, uh, uh, my mother, uh, I forgot one thing. Sorry about that, Woody. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, uh, chocolate has uh, polyphenol, and the polyphenol has it's this it's this ring that's important. Okay, and this is this ring is similar to the A ring in est uh, estrogen uh, molecules. Okay, or uh, or steroid, uh, sex hormone uh, molecules, okay? And we need these. This is the A ring, okay? So the, the uh, phenol is this part. So the phenol is much smaller and 
and it could easily get in the uh, uh, estrogen receptors and, uh, and other receptors, so like progesterone receptors, and block it. Okay, so it, for girls, phenols, phenols and phytoestrogens block uh, their uh, women, uh, their girls' puberty, their women's puberty, their, their feminine puberty. And for boys, uh, polyphenols uh, and phytoestrogens uh, block uh, their masculine, their male puberty. Okay, so and uh, so my my mother introduced uh, us, me and my uh, second, my first brother, um, uh, flax seeds, and uh, and also. Uh, in French, it's called pamplemousse. Uh, I don't know in English. Uh, grapefruit, okay, grapefruit. But this is this is a big. It's not exactly a grapefruit. I don't know what it's called. Uh, it's a pomelo, okay. So it's the same thing as grapefruit. Uh, and pomelos and grapefruits has uh, naringin, and naringin is a. It acts as a um, finasteride, okay. It's a dehydrotestosterone blocker, okay. Naringin links up to the uh, receptors of the uh, dehydrotestosterone, and it just blocks it. It just squawks it. Okay, so I'm letting it soak. The reason why it's better to just let it, it way better to let it soak, because it don't destroy the uh, vitamins and the uh, phytoestrogen. The phyto phytoestrogen, the group of the phytoestrogen that uh, flax seeds have, is called lignan. Okay, this is our the, the uh, lignant. Okay, so okay, so therefore, okay, those are lignants. Okay, at the bottom there are still veins. Okay, and the still vein, the still veins are two. Here I have two molecules of still veins. Okay. Uh, the bottom one here it's a trans resveratrol, trans resveratrol, resveratrol. Okay, trans. Okay, so this is the molecule, and you find that in uh, <coughs> green, uh, uh, red raisins and black raisins. Okay, you find that in raisins, and here the other molecule at the bottom here it's uh, isor ha. Pontin, he's or pontin, and that's the molecule. And you could see here the uh, phenol. This is the phenol, and this is what links to the uh, receptors. Okay, and the tail end. So this is the uh, A, cy uh, the cyclic A. Okay, and the the tail here. This is what gives the shape to uh, the receptors. Okay. Because when a ligand, ligands are hormones, phytoestrogen, vitamins, that links it to receptors. The receptors is a receptor, and the molecule that activates the receptors is called a ligand, okay? And each ligand has a different shape. So they, there's, they have a similarity on one end of their molecule, their structure, that links to the molecule, but the tail end will give a shape to the uh, to the receptor, a different shape. So what it does, when it changes the shape of the receptors, it changes the probability, okay? I'll give you an example. This, uh, this diagram, you see all the different molecules that can link to uh, the estrogen receptor. You have ethanol, estradiol, you have primarin, you have 17 beta estradiol, uh, you have uh, genistein, which is an isoflavone, uh, phytoestrogen, and here you have an enterolactone. Okay? When they link at this probability to the receptors, but because of their different, their different tails, it shapes, it changes the, the shape of the receptors uh, differently 
and it gives a probability of a femininity effect. Okay, so this is how our body, our how our traits, our feminine or masculine traits work. They work by probability. Okay, concentration of the uh, the ligand, the hormones, con uh, the sensitivity of the uh, receptor, and also the probable the shape the probable the shape for the probability of a feminine or masculine uh, trait uh, maker, okay? So, okay. Um, so here, now, those are the still bends. You find them in raisins, especially uh, red raisins and black raisins. And here are the lignans. This is a matai resinol. Matai resinol, uh, it, when we, we, it is found in flax seeds. It, we find them in the very, very weak, uh, small concentration in apples and pears, but a thousand times more compared to pears and apples. We find them in the flax seeds and sesame seeds. Same thing with this one, which this one here is Sico Iso Larisi Resinol. And both, when we ingest flax seeds, uh, our, the, our gut bacteria uh, transform these two molecules to these two molecules at the bottom which are anterolignan. Anterolignan, example, anterolactone, which is the most potent one. It's almost, it links up equally to the uh, 17 beta es uh, estrogen receptor. And this one, uh, same thing with, uh, this one is this one is least potent. It links up a little bit less, but the effect it may, the effect it could, it can make is about 20% femininity effect or uh, to about 50% the femininity effect the these two molecules. So they're quite potent. Okay. So I, my uh, our uh, our mother has introduced us the chocolate. Uh, flax seeds and grapefruit. I don't particularly like it, so my brother was eating grapefruit every morning throughout his uh, childhood. I was eating flax seeds every morning tr uh, throughout, and sometimes during the uh, evening uh, throughout my uh, uh, throughout my childhood. And same thing with chocolate. Like I love chocolate. Okay. So basically, what that did, it stunted my. Uh, mask my male puberty okay I like I'm um, over i um, close to 60 years old I never had facial hair I never had body hair at all okay and and my bone structure is stayed the same volume the same form as the uh, women's bone structures okay in my face and um, my my hands are a little bit they're small but they're they're chunky but I think I don't know <laughs> okay but my my forearm bones my long arm bones the same thing my legs I have I have no absolutely no uh, <clears throat> uh, no hair under my arms I never shave never never there and I never had I never had the uh, uh, body hair on my legs, never, never, okay. Just a few at the bottom, but ever since I've been taking uh, Anticure uh, years ago, they completely disappeared, it never came back, because I stopped, I stopped taking Anticure about like uh, a year and a half ago, okay. So I never, uh, a year, exactly a year, so they never came back, okay. So this is the trick. So in that, <clears throat> <coughs> okay. Okay. So in reality, we do not need psychiatrists. We know what we want. We do not need medical doctors to give us like synthetic, uh, supposedly hormones like ethanol, estradiol, or primarin, or Lupron, or Androcure. We don't need that. All we have to do is become vegetarian and make sure that we eat raw or we eat fresh like this. You see, now the water is becoming kind of like oily. That's because the uh, every seed, 
flaxseed has burst and all its content, all its vitamins and all its phytoestrogens like Sigo Iso Larisi Erisinol and Matai Erisinol as trans, uh, transpose itself in into the water or the, the soy milk, okay? So when we ingest, I just ingest uh, chocolate with full of phenols, lots of phenols, and Now, when I'm ingesting these, especially the Seco Iso Darisi Erisinol and the Maitai Erisinol, in my gut it will get transformed into an Enterodial. Oh, I forgot to mention Enterodial. Okay, this is an Enterodial. This is an entero, uh, uh, Enterolactone Enterodial. Enterolazion is a, it's a weaker. Phytoestrogen it works at like uh, between five percent to fifteen percent uh, femininity effect, and the links to the uh, receptor, to the estrogen receptor, only maybe about like eighty percent of the time compared to uh, to uh, seventeen beta estradiol. The links to the femin the femininity receptor, which is the beta estrogen receptor. Okay, so and my brother, he has no facial hair. He's about the same age as me, and he's been eating uh, a grapefruit or uh, not, not, I, like I never seen him with pomegranate. That's something new that I've seen. Okay, but he's been eating like all his all throughout his childhood and and sometimes during his adulthood, uh, like uh, pom uh, uh, grapefruit. Grapefruit has naringin, okay, a naringin, a, nar a naringin. Na re jin, na re jin, okay. N a r i n uh, j as uh, g as a George i n. Uh, that molecule imitates a dehydrotestosterone blocker. It imitates uh, uh, basically finasteride or finasteride, okay. It basically, it imitates uh, progesterone, but. Because progesterone blocks off like testosterone everywhere, like de especially dehydrotestosterone. So it blocks uh, uh, progesterone blocks off the conversion of testosterone into dehydrotestosterone, its active form, and it blocks off also uh, the receptors of dehydrotestosterone. So so you don't virilize at all. Okay. So that's the the, the rationale. Okay. Now, why does it work? Okay, in my former video, my rec most recent video before this one, it works because of this uh, uh, sex hormone cascade, which I call the sex hormone ends. Because the reason why the, our body, um, our body transform cholesterol into sex hormones is to have this. The end product is dehydro, uh, dehydrotestosterone, which is the testosterone that turns us into a man. This, this uh, molecule transforms uh, our clitoris into a penis, our ovaries into testicles, and our labia into uh, a scrotum, okay? From our, inside our mother's uh, womb, okay? The other product, uh, wanted product, uh, very potent pot product is 17 beta estradiol. 17 beta estradiol uh, keeps our brain healthy and good thing. We have phytoestrogen that does the same thing, keeps our brain he healthy and it keeps our bones healthy. Same thing with phytoestrogen. Okay, so the rationale of eating, ingesting phytoestrogen, not eating meat, and also, or, and also, and or. Uh, I would say and just and because we don't need the uh, estrogen patches or you know sticking estrogen patches because if we have if our uh, body has a lot uh, has a fair amount of 17 beta estradiol in our body or phytoestrogen the phytoestrogen and the 17 beta estradiol will s tell the brain to stop transforming cholesterol into progesterone. Uh, progesterone or testosterone. So in effect for boys, it lowers our testosterone. Uh, it will, if we're young boys, like, you know, nine, 10, 
it will keep our testosterone low, okay, because of the phytoestrogen. Basically, our body says, well, we already have a lot of potent molecules, we don't need any more. So the brain will tell the testicle, do not produce any potent molecules anymore, which is testosterone then and then dehydrotestosterone, okay? So that's the rationale of um, being vegetarian, making sure we ingest uh, a fair amount of phytoestrogen, lignans, isoflavone, uh, naringenin, cumestrol, and uh, BKN A, that's another group, okay? Uh, so that's the rationale. Okay, now, I have some data here. A few data. I've showed data. The data that I show are photos of trans women and trans men and cis people, just to show. And I know about that. I could extrapolate about their diet because of their of their race, their ethnicity, city, and which country they live. Okay. So now the uh, Japanese. Uh, Chinese and Japanese, the, uh, especially the Japanese, the Japanese eat seven, 700, uh, Japanese women, okay, men also, but the, uh, the study was for uh, Japanese uh, uh, women, for women in general. Uh, Japanese women eat 700 times more isoflavone uh, product, uh, uh, soy product than white Anglo-American women, which is a lot compared to the French. The French, the white Anglo-American women, I'm sure they eat about a hundred times more uh, soy product or phytoestrogen than uh, white French men living in French, in France, okay, or Quebec. And you can tell by these are cis men posing one, uh, two for fun in a, a light club and three for a women that owns a cafe. Uh, it's, a, um, it's a maid cafe and she hires uh, cis men to uh, either heterosexual or, or homosexual to uh, serve the, uh, client, uh, the clients, okay? The patrons, okay? So these are three cis men posing as women in front of the, that female photograph. And these two are cis men, uh, about like, these are their, uh, their average, uh, their age is about 21 to 25. And these two are around like 30, 30 years old, okay. Now you can tell that these five men, they look actual like women, okay. Uh, so if they look like women, they are women, okay, even though they, they don't identify to them. Now, this is in England, these are uh, British citizens, okay, and the Brits, they, um, the Brits, they eat much more uh, fresh fruits and fresh edible leaves compared to compared to the okay compared to the French men the white French men okay okay so no I forgot one
Okay, so now I have other photos, okay? This one I've showed on my former, uh, okay. So there's the, this one, like, I mean, the, the reflection of the sun, like, is really bothersome. Okay, I have a cap to get rid. <coughs> Sorry, I don't want to be polite to my cats, but I don't have any choice. Okay, so, so, and this one I showed in my uh, last video. Okay, Japanese man, J Japanese cis man, posing as a schoolgirl. Uh, to a photograph, for a for a photograph. Uh, now this uh, this is a French trans woman, a, a white Gaulois trans woman living in France. You can tell the uh, the difference of the structure. And there's this one, here. very narrow hips, uh, full beard, and. Uh, a wide upper torso, which is the abdomen, low, uh, narrow hips, wide abdomen, and wide uh, thorax. Okay, here's a a hairy guy who wants to identify and identify as a woman. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, and besides. Uh, French men, French soldiers, uh, sh soldiers in the uh, First World War, World War One, they were referred, they were called uh, les poilus. Poilus means the hairy ones. Okay, so this is a French trans woman, a, tr a French Gaulois, a white Gaulois woman living in France, and you could tell, you know, uh, this is a sign: very narrow hips, uh, wide white protruding uh, stomach and also uh, man boobs up, upward with a large thorax, uh, thick neck and thick bones, thick skin, okay? That's a sign that uh, French men, Fr a white good white man living in France and in Quebec have the extreme diet compared to Japanese. Japanese people uh, racially Japanese people living in Japan will eat uh, mostly fresh fruits, fresh edible leaves and uh, all sorts of grain, uh, all sorts of potatoes and they will privilege uh, fish. Uh, uh, beef and pork uh, is, especially beef, beef is very expensive in Japan so they don't, and also it's not in their, it's not into their culture to eat meat, okay? Compared to the Godwa, uh, the Goywa men, they have this, um, this uh, belief that they have to eat meat to prove God that men is superior to women, uh, black people, and also animals, okay? Uh, I have one, uh, one male teacher t uh, telling us that in, in uh, little school, and then in two male teachers telling us in high school, okay? And a whole bunch of people, whole, whole bunch of French guys telling me that, okay, so unfortunately, that's the way they think, okay? So, so here's a proof, okay? So I showed you the two people with a very contrary uh, diet, okay? Um, so what else? I think that's about it, okay. Now, I think I talked about the rationale of uh, for eating, for ingesting phytoestrogen because of the uh, cascade. The, the cascade, oh, okay, because of the cascade uh, sex hormone, uh, cascade, whatever. Okay, 